So, do you want to know how meta tables work? Then welcome, I'm Paul and I will try to explain them for you. So meta tables are, well, tableless, but with meta methods. And meta methods are a set of special functions which control operations within the table. And basically every table can have an associated meta table and their general use case is to modify the table's behavior. With the theory done, let's move to the scripting. And like I said, meta tables are also tables and they are assigned to tables. So you will need a normal table and also a meta table. And to assign a meta table, we just use the set meta table function. As you can see, if you put the cursor into the brackets, you can see which arguments it's expecting. First one is the table that we assign the meta table to. And the second one is the meta table. So let's assign the meta table to the table. And now we can print the table. And let's also give this table a value of one. So now what's going to happen, it's going to print out a table. But it's only the spheres table right here, and not the meta table, because to get the meta table to show, similar to the set meta table, use the get meta table function from the table. And now if you run it, both of the tables are going to show, although this meta table is empty. And now we have the basics of setting a meta table. And if you are finding this tutorial helpful, then please leave a like and also subscribe, because it would really help my channel out. And if you want to see a tutorial on anything, then comment down below. But like I said previously, meta tables have meta methods, right? And there is a lot of meta methods in this, and I will be leaving a link to them in the description. But let's move to the example number one, and let's use some meta methods. So while having this meta table, right, we could either set the meta method inside of the table, let's start with the index one, right here, or we can move it outside and put it right there. This is just up to your preference. But let's talk more about the index meta method. So you can set it as a value, a table or a function. And if we set it to a table and we request a value from this table, right, we could just do print table.value. So what it's going to do, right, since this is a table, it's going to look for value inside of this table right here, the original one. And if it doesn't find it in here, it's going to move to the meta table, to the index. So if you give a value of 1 to the meta table's index and we run it, it's going to print out 1, although this table was empty. And if you set it as a function, this function takes the table, which is the self parameter, and the given index. And now we can just do a print saying that index does not exist in the table. Now if we run it, it's going to say that value does not exist in table, and then it's going to print out nil. But now if we return the given index, because it's going to return to the table, and we run it, instead of nil it's going to print out the value. Same as we just index the table, you can see it doesn't exist in the table, and then it's going to print out 1. And now let's say we wanted to assign a value to the index number 1 through this function right here. We could do self from given index is equal to given index plus 5 and I'm also gonna print out the table right here and run it and as you can see index 1 is now equal to 6 because the index meta method it just controls the indexing in the table and it's called whenever you try to access a key that doesn't exist in the table because as you can see I'm referring to the index number 1 which doesn't exist in the original table and another meta method which usually can conflict with the index is a new index which also takes the self given index and the given value and this one instead of controlling the indexing controls the assignment and this one is called when you try to assign a value to a non-existing key in the table and how this to conflict basically as written in the documentation which i'm also gonna leave a link to in the description the existence of the new index it stops the values from being added to the table from the standard assign method so now we do actually have to return the table from the given index and run it so what's going to happen right now is a stack overflow because as you can see it's constantly indexing the given index and because of that we can't proceed with the new index so i'm gonna show you how to use the reset function to assign a value to the table and bypass any meta methods because that's what they are used for so as you can see the row set expects a table the index and the value so the table is self then given index and the given value which is this right here and this line is basically equal to this one except it doesn't invoke any meta methods so if you comment this line and run it as you can see everything just worked fine and for the last meta method which I'm going to show is going to be the call, which is a function that takes the self parameter and also any arguments that are passed to it. So you could do dots if you have multiple arguments, but just do value. And how the call works, it allows us to change the behavior of the table to be called as a function and we could do just some funny stuff with it, like change the first index to be set to the value. So you can also print out the type of the table 
and then use the table as a function and let's assign it a value of 10. So now you can see that the table is a that the type of the table is the table. Oh I I still need to print it out. So I'm just gonna move this line right here. And as you can see the index one is 10 and the type is the table. But we use the table the same as a function. And also to show the new index, because well I just skipped it, um, if we try to refer to let's say table that value is equal to 5, we can do a print that the given index doesn't exist for the given value. As you can see it prints out right here that the value doesn't exist for 5, and that's how it works. And like I said there are many meta methods and it's worth reading what they do because there is a lot of ways that you can modify the table's behavior. And yeah, I highly recommend that you read the Roblox's Lua documentation about meta tables and meta methods and also go to the Lua's manual because a lot of information is also written there. Well, that's everything for this tutorial, but if you want to be a better developer, then make sure to check out my video about things I wish I knew sooner when starting off as a Roblox scripter because I talk about a lot of different stuff, different practices and overall how you can be a better programmer on Roblox. So yeah, I hope you had a nice day and see ya guys.